All right, guys, we finally got our carb in. Everything was on back order. Here's the new one here on the right. Came with a fuel filter, the new primer, some uh, cleaning brushes, and new gasket. And here's the old one. This is the one I took off of it. And this is a used one that I had uh, out in the shed wrapped up in a towel off of an older snowblower. And because we ran into an issue, the one that I took off, you can see how the arm comes up and out. And that's what I thought I ordered when I ordered this one, but apparently this is these guys this is the only one they had, and it was back ordered, so I didn't realize I ordered the wrong one until it got here. But it, it does come up and out, but it's like stubby. You know, you can see the, the difference in uh, length there. And the problem with this one is it's straight out. Instead of coming up and out, it goes straight out. So my first plan was to, I was just going to pop the butterfly out, just unscrews, slide the arm out, and uh, put this arm in it, and be, you know, good to go. So that's not going to work. The problem we got there is you have a spring right here that keeps tension on that lever when you're turning your choke on and off. Well, unfortunately, this one's on the right hand side. This is the used carb I had in the shed. This is the carb I took off. This one's on the left hand side. Same problem with this new one I bought. It's on the right hand side. This one's on the left hand side. So that was the the other plan I had was to you know just swap the arm onto one of these other two carburetors and roll with it. But uh kind of bent. But so that's the situation right now. But since it's done raining, it's been raining off and on for the past two days. I am going to take and put this used one on. And uh, so we just get it hooked up, get some fuel flowing into it, and we'll see if that thing will even start up. And we'll try the electric start on it. And so tomorrow, it's supposed to quit raining, I believe, overnight. So tomorrow after work, we'll go outside. We'll get this, see if we can jerry rig this car above on it. And we'll see if that blower actually runs. If it runs, I'll uh, see what we can do about getting uh, making it functional like it should be. All right, getting home from work, come down, look at these, and <clears throat> got a little something figured out. The this is the old one that had I was able to switch the arm that operates the choke onto the new one, and to do it, this is the uh, issue, and you've seen the first part of the video was. The spring location the, where the choke arm rests, the springs, I got to looking at it and it was like, you know, they probably screw out. I mean, just because of the way the spring's shaped. It was just like basically like having threads because it's just aluminum. So, slid, took the, uh, the butterfly out of it. It's just a little uh, star bit screw, took it out and uh, popped it off and the arm, sure enough, slid right out. They just fit you know, and just fit right down in there. Once you take that butterfly off, it'll pop, it'll come straight out. Once it came out, just use the regular pair of pliers and grab a hold of it and uh, with a good grip and just turned it. Sure enough, it unscrewed. But uh, this one, I kind of buggered it up a little bit. I had the, the pliers a little too high when I started turning on it, kind of stretched it a little bit, but it doesn't, it doesn't affect it. It's way high, so it's a lot taller than the other one, but it works good. So far, so we do now is take it out there and get it on and see if she runs. I'll catch you outside. <laughs> All right, we've got the carb on. These carbs are super easy. Uh, yeah, I, guess I could have showed you before I put everything down here, but you, all you have is the two screws that go in to hold it on. Some of them are star bits, some are Allen heads. Super easy to do. Uh, I didn't put none of the plastic back on. I just wanted to see if it'd fire up. And the kid tried to start the uh, uh, the electric start on it. Said the uh, something the the uh, starter's bad. And so we're down to doing some pool starting. And we'll save the starter for definitely for another time. So I'm hoping this thing will run. on I did take the spark plug out 
it looked pretty good. Old, but should be enough for it to run. And full choke. Uh oh. Try a half a choke. Runs good, it takes it a while to shut off, but runs good. The tines are spinning. Well, I think it's called a tine, it's just the one piece. So I think we actually got lucky on this one. Um, but there is one thing I just want to talk to you guys about because we just got done dealing with this a couple days ago. Do yourself and other people a favor and check on your friends your family and uh just give them a call check on them see how they're doing and uh because it's i had just but well, today's friday i think it was wednesday it's like two something in the morning my sister got a call that uh unfortunately we lost a family member to suicide so on a serious note please do yourself a favor and it could be a family member or a friend whoever just check on them give them a call swing by their house just to see how they're doing i've lost two family members and a really close friend of mine to suicide and uh, it really breaks my heart this one, he was only 34 years old, and uh, <clears throat> it's a sad, sad situation, but uh, please do yourself a favor, do them a favor, and give them a ring, stop by their house, just a, uh, you know, just a call to see how they're doing, how their day's been, and, uh, ugh. But, on the lighter side of things, that wraps it up for this thing, but I'll do some digging around. It does need a starter for the electric start, and uh, I've never done one of those on one of these, but uh, at some point, we'll dig into it and uh, see how hard it possibly is. They said when they hit the button on it, it just sounds like either the, there's bad teeth or the starter's just not engaging, so... We'll dig into that in uh, sometime, uh, definitely not right now because it keeps raining and it's super cold. Usually by the time I get home from work, it's dark. We got lucky today, but uh, this thing seems to run good. Carburetor for it was, uh, I think it was like $15 some change on Amazon. Can have a brand new carburetor, uh, fuel filter, those cleaning brushes I was showing you, and gaskets and all that stuff. But it is a super easy fix. Just, <coughs> just excuse me. Just make sure you have the the correct arm, like I shown you earlier in the video, the, for the uh, choke mechanism. I got lucky on this one; was able to swap out the spring and the arm from the other carburetor onto it. it seems to work really well, and uh, so this one will definitely uh, come across somebody that needs it, and they're more than welcome to have it, and. Uh, I don't know if it'll be before we fix the starter or after we fix the starter. If if not, then if it's someone nearby, then uh, if they decide they want to fix the starter before I can do it, then we'll help them out with that. And this thing, I'll get the plastic covers back on and get it covered up for now until we can either fix it the rest of the way or find it a new home. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Remember, check on your friends and family that... Uh, it's always a bad situation when you have to deal with something like that, man. Thanks for watching. We're up to 746 subscribers, which is freaking awesome. And uh, here shortly, hopefully we'll be back doing some magnet fishing since I get some time. 
and uh, we'll catch you then. Thanks for watching. Y'all have a blessed weekend.